So what is subset selection? So in subset selection, you fit models with each possible combinations of p features. Okay, let's say we have p number of uh, independent variables or p number of features. The total number of models that you will be having is 2 to the power 3. If you have 2 features, if p equal to 2, then the total number of model will be 4. So the idea is to use every combination. Right. Let's example. We have x1 and x2. We have only two um, features or two predictors. Okay. So how many models you will have? You will have a model with only x, with only uh, x, sorry, with only x1, with only x2, and with both x1 and x2. So this one is the first model with only x1 as the predictor. And second model, you have only x2 as the predictor. In third one, you have x1 and x2 as the predictors. So that three model. We ideally should have four model. Well, the fourth model is nothing but only the uh, only the intercept. Okay. So it's just a mean intercept. Okay. It's beta. It's only the mean. So your y is nothing but the mean of you know your. Uh, so your y hat is nothing but just uh, just the uh, mean of y okay so that is considered to be the null model okay so for familiar with statistical analysis you you must be familiar that in the result you always get a null model okay so that's the fourth model we're talking about so every time you're going to have four model uh, we are going to have two to the power p models you have where p is the number of features you have so that's subset selection and it's very difficult because if the p is let's say 3 then total of models is going to be 2 to the power 3 is equal to 8 if p is uh, 4 then it's going to be 16 if p is uh, you know 5 it's going to have 32 but if p is 10 you're going to have a very huge number of uh, model and that's very difficult Right? So it requires a massive computational power and not always you have availability of massive computational power. Um, so to reduce the computational power, it, the algorithm is broken into two stages. So what it does is in first stage, first all combination of models that has only k predictors out of total p predictors. So and pick the best model from the set of k predictors. So what happens is that now for each one of these model, let's say you have uh, p, uh, let's say p is equal to 4, right? So there are uh, four predictors, x1, x2, x3 and x4. Okay, let me, okay. Now, uh, let's for instance, we have models where we have just one variable. So we considered, we will assume that as k. So let's k equal to 1. That means say one variable model. So y is a function of x1. Is in this, then the y is a function of x2. Y is a function of x3. And y is a function of x4. So, when k equal to 1, you have 4 models and you'll have to choose what is the best out of these 4 models. So the first step, you just compute the 4 models and pick the best one of them. When k equal to 2, when k equal to 2, you have y is a function of x1, x2 and then in the second model, y is a function of x1, x3 and then x1, x4 and then x2, x3, and then x3, x4. So there are going to be four, five models, right? And then you will select the best out of these five models. All right. So that's the way you calculate the first stage. Okay. And the second stage, out of whatever, uh, whichever model has been selected from each case, like when you k equal to one, let's say this model has been selected. When k equal to 2, let the second model has been selected. And when k equal to 3, uh, you will have another model to be selected, right? When k equal to 4, then you will have 
only one model right when k equal to 4 you will have x1 x2 x3 x4 only one model right and that is going to be the final model so for each k you will have one best model out of these groups in the second stage the select the one that is best out of this one so when model when k equal to 1 you have one model that is best out of this group when k equal to 2 you have one model that is best out of this group and then you will for p variable you will have such p number of models right best set of models the select the best out of it how do you select the second stage models just use one of these you know metrics whether it's rss in the case of uh, you know regression model uh, cross validation error adjusted r square so you can use any one of these metrics to find out the best one and it will be 